Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, and this is the Weekly Holiday Show. I'm your host, Mr. James, wearing red. I know I don't often wear red. I do have a red shirt. This is my red shirt. I usually have to wear it around this time of year because I have to play music for people that are celebrating certain holidays, and it seems to be everything's red. Have you seen poinsettias, the red flowers they're selling everywhere? Yeah, seems to be a lot of red out there, so I have a red shirt. I really want a green shirt, but I can't find one anywhere. So write in if you can find me one. So here are your selected holidays for the week of December 20th through December 24th. The year is 2021. And let's see if we can celebrate something. So first up, we have Monday Caroling Day. Caroling, la la la. You go to people's houses and you sing for them, la la la. This actually has roots not in any specific holiday. It was something people did probably to make friends, probably to ask for certain things. Can I borrow some butter, sir? Or just to uh, keep people's spirits high because in the winter, people get cold and some people get sick. And the thing is, you have to have supplies of food that you've had since the summer and hopefully it lasts you all year round. I mean, that's the thing. Before refrigeration, people had to gather up the crops in the fall and make sure they had enough to last them all winter until they could start growing again in the spring. And people had to keep their head up and learn different things, different skills while they were inside and make sure they had enough wood for the fireplace and all of those things and caroling singing yeah just as important to keep your spirits up because i think cutting wood and uh eating the same thing probably for three months in a row probably not going to be that happy mm -hmm. so tuesday the 21st main day main main that's the state i'm in that's right and i'm pointing up to it yay so main i guess at this time the 21st 200 years ago, a little over 200 years ago, became a state. And we're happy, usually part of Massachusetts, if you didn't know that, yes. And we're a state, and it's cold, we have all four seasons definitely defined, and we also are right next to Canada in the north. When I point up, I mean the north. That means above us. And we have the Atlantic Ocean to our east coast, the west coast, we have West Coast, what am I talking about? With the west of our state, we have New Hampshire, and then over next to that's Vermont. So we're in New England, uh, and you know, it's a great place to live. They call it vacation land, the way life should be. Uh, but definitely, we have to acknowledge that uh, we have a special day and celebrate Maine, maybe buy a cookie that is a shape of Maine, or just be like, hey, I'm glad to be in Maine. Where else would you want to be, right? Think about that. Wednesday, the 22nd, Date Nut Bread Day. Date Nut Bread. Have you ever tried that? So dates are literally nature's caramel. They're delicious. They have these little seeds in them, but they look kind of like, someone said they look like a bug. I don't know. They look like little squished fruit and they're delicious they come from a palm tree a date palm tree wow and the bread you can make with this you mix dates you mix some sort of nuts maybe walnuts and such put it into bread and the dates when they cook they become this caramel flavor and it is so delicious in fact nature's caramel is pretty much the date and the bread has some spices in it as well very delicious if you haven't had one of those yet, try that date nut bread. Just try a date. It may, may, may have you thinking about candy. Hmm. Dates are candy. Nature's candy. Thursday, the 23rd, we have Roots Day. Your roots. Where do you come from? What are the roots you have? Basically, family. And I'm not talking about family that's around you right now. I'm talking about family that goes back generation and generations. Now, we can get our DNA taken right now and, and we can send away and they can give us information about what we're made of, I guess, our genetic makeup. Are you part this, part that? And find out that we have more family than we thought we did. And that's discovering our roots. 
even if you don't go that route and you just want to know about the people that you care about, you know, say something nice to your family, to each person on this day and Thursday. You should do that every single day. But I mean, Thursday is a great time to start doing that and just acknowledge that, you know, you guys make up a family unit, the most important unit uh, as the basis of like organizations or society. Right, it starts with the family, and then it spreads out to larger groups, and eventually we have our entire society, our community that we live in. Trace your roots, find your roots, find where you come from, and be proud of it. You're important. And Friday the twenty fourth, it is eggnog day, and if you've never tried eggnog, you might not like it. It's kind of like cinnamony, nutmeggy, spicy, and really thick because it's a drink made with drinking eggs. Unless you're me and you have a almond milk version that is just made with some things called gums, which makes it kind of thick. Uh, eggnog has been around for a very long time. Now think about this. Eggs, if you have an egg and you open it up and you leave it out, it's probably not going to be good after a few hours. Probably don't want to taste it because it's got bacteria and stuff like that. It'll make it gross. Eggnog was a way of cooking and curing, fermenting so that people could drink eggs and eggs were readily available. You have chickens that just keep laying, I think maybe one egg a day and you have a lot of them, you have a lot of eggs and you want to make a drink that maybe it's a little bit more tastier than drinking water all the time or whatever people drank back then. So eggnog sort of came into be and it's changed over the years i think a little bit maybe more spices added but uh we celebrate that a lot of people celebrate this time of year by drinking eggnog it seems to come out around november end of november and all through december if you haven't had eggnog yet it's definitely something that you might try and might not like so just maybe try a little sip of it but uh yeah the ones now are pasteurized, so they make sure the eggs are taken care of. You still need to refrigerate it though, but uh, yeah, eggnog. Weird when we look up our history, right? The history of everywhere. But if you're watching this in another country and you don't, you've never heard of this stuff, great. This is what it's like in America, North America, the United States, and specifically Maine. So go Mainers, but go anybody else. We're all proud of everybody. Well, thank you for watching. Subscribe for these weekly videos. Thumbs up always helps. Wear some red. Wear any color you like. Wear a tie, right? Be bold. Be you. You're important. Discover your roots. And thanks for watching. Celebrate something.